Some were here trying to see if they could salvage any items, but looking from the damage at these mobile homes, the fire took out almost everything. So now they're trying to figure out what's next as they wait for answers on the cause of that fire. It's gone. Michael Martin and others at the Jamestown Estates have returned to their destroyed mobile homes, seeing that nothing is left. After an out of control brush fire from a nearby field spread quickly into the Lakewood neighborhood. I was in the living room, I had headphones on, so I didn't hear the fire. Uh, I've been under the weather, so I didn't smell much. Uh, my kid sister-in-law just barged in, told me there was a fire, and I started trying to gather what I could, but at that point, it was already on my back wall. In Spanish, Martin's neighbor, Marlena Galvez, told us about one of the two men killed in the fire, an older man who she said had some mobility issues. Firefighters said both men were found in the same mobile home. Damage was also seen at the Galvez home. Perdieron todo. Prácticamente sí. Her husband, Victor Galvez, said they have also lost everything in the fire. These things happen almost every year. We get a small brush fire in that field, and uh, usually the fire department's able to come out within minutes. Michael told us what he's seen on that field before. I can tell you that this field has had a homelessness problem since well before we moved in. Even after they fenced it off and put the land up for sale, uh, they just cut through. Officials say they are still investigating who and what caused this fire. But residents who've shared similar stories of issues with that field say they want answers. This was totally preventable, unfortunately, and um, it's ridiculous. And I reached back out to authorities again today, bringing up those questions from residents about people on that field who should not be there. But for now, all investigators will tell me is the cause of that fire is still under investigation. In Lakewood, Paul Rivera, Como News. We will keep following it. Paul, thank you.